Hello gamers, I am Mike the Zorch, and today we're having a look at Outcast Second Contact. This is a remake of a game that was made many, many moons ago, and it has become a cult classic since then. This was developed by Appeal and published by Nacon. Nacon is known most for the Blood Bowl games, but uh, the original of this was rather a revolutionary title it utilized voxel graphics before minecraft tried to uh basically use voxels in place of 3d accelerated graphics and it actually did it fairly well they pulled off some very interesting graphical effects back in the day it never really caught on. They were the only ones who really toyed with the idea of using voxels. It had a very unique graphical look, as you're going to see when we get in here. We're going to play some of the game. But uh, it was... It, it didn't do very well in its initial release, and it's become a cult classic since then. And there have been several attempts to try and bring this game back, try and... Uh, remaster it or remake it or in some way and one of those attempts finally succeeded and this is the game so let's get into this It came the discovery of the superstrings theory, which stated that an elementary particle that is 10 to the negative 35 meters in diameter was the basic element of all matter. This prompted the idea that an infinite number of worlds exist parallel to our own, all separated by extra dimensions at the subatomic scale. will be a year long remembered in the scientific world as Professor William Kaufman's published work on ubiquitous strings is released. Simply put, Kaufman predicts that travel to a parallel world may be possible using a method he's called string tunneling. Many in the scientific field, while agreeing with his findings, say that the power output that is needed is far beyond the capabilities of science. Anthony Zoo's trial ended today with a narrow, not guilty verdict. The families of the 11 MIT lab workers who were killed in the July 1999 explosion contend that Zoo was at fault and that his attempt to create the first matter-antimatter reaction was the cause. Commander Slade? Not bad. I guess my weight, too. I'm Major Vernon, sir. We've got a diamond priority situation at one of our outposts, and I'm to bring you to the site. Take a time to finish my drink? Guess not. Sorry, sir, but we're almost to the site, and I'm supposed to debrief you before we land. Get on with it, then. In your mission briefing, you'll see that yesterday, at 1630 GST, a top-secret military experiment was launched. You got any coffee? No, sir. Now, if you'll just follow along. Damn. Okay, I'm all ears, Major. Go on. Well, as you may know, scientists have talked about traveling to parallel worlds for the last couple of years, and yesterday, we did it. Did what? We sent a probe through the boundary separating us from the other dimensions. Really? Where'd you wind up? Belgium? For 71 minutes, we were receiving data back from the probe before an entity from that world damaged it. 
sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30-degree roll to port. It caved in. Let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. And the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. Urgent. Soft gear maintenance off needed at Hall G13. Red Sector Com briefing is a go at 1300 hours. Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to... Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll... Attention. Report all Gentlemen, this is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Lab techs, uh, it's a pleasure, Commander. I'm sorry you You and me to... both, Professor. Uh, and Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. Without me, he'd still be at the blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. We can save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. Task five commanders. P1 so, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damaged probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. Why did they choose you, Commander? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me, and we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? I have a strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm-hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suits a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, she'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Commander Slade, T-minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck.
Sukai. Son of Nikar, Son Guarta. Uh, you guys want to keep it down? <clears throat> My head is splitting. Urakai, are you unhurt? I think so, Doc, except my hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that, some egghead word for... Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Sokrin, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... Um, like me. We found you alone, Ulukai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five moms and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Kroax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Khazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai, who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zogrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai Guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me. Then I, to you. How many men do you have? Once, we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred, and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you. Until they hear stories of your good deeds, all will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai, as one many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe, my equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads, and I have one backpack with my HK P-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. <laughs> I did not understand all of what you said, Ulokai, but if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save at Helen's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. I skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Nan. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Daoka, so you may leave. Lexicon accessed. HKP-12 ammo located.
Okay. Let's get outside and see what things look like here. This is a little what I what I remember. Now the uh, original was an MS DOS game, and it was all software rendered, and it uh, the visuals were a lot like this. Believe it or not, the visuals were surprisingly similar to this. Uh, the water effects. Let's see. Yeah, the water effects are nowhere near as good. The water effects in the original were pretty amazing for their time. And this was like really early, early 2000s. And it no, no 3D acceleration. The water effects were just absolutely amazing. This teaches some of the mechanics. Not sure how to going to pop. your jump these were this was a lot smoother a lot has been a bit has been lost in the translation to a uh, a bit's been lost in translation So we need to find notepad. Speak to his son, John. So we need to find him. Just laying around. Stable organic energy detected. A lot of ammo. Ah, here he is. you something? Are you Jan? Yes, Ulukai. 
I am glad that you are feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. Notepad. Hmm. Hmm. What about this targeting test? We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new guardians. Even though my father unwisely follows the no-violence teachings of Kazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. Okay. And... Oh. Yes. Let's try this jumping test. Follow me, Urukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. What now? Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Notepad. Accessed. Ah. Let's see if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers! Be careful coming down, Ulukai! I'm Tell me about your test of swimming. You have finished that test, Ulukai. There is no need to repeat it. Oh, okay. They consider that a test. What is this sneaking test? This is our most difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no-violence teachings of Kazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. If you say, Ulukai, me, I want to fight, but my father forbids it, and so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. Unstable organic energy detected. Ah, oh, we're coming over here to this place. Come here a second, would you? How does this work? Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, 
two, three. You must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Let's go, then. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Notepad. Acrobatic. One, two, three! I have seen you, Urukai. Come, speak with me. Want to try that again? I guess you are still weak from your travels. Let us try it again. As soon as I say three, you will need to get the fruit. One, two, three! Did it! I could not see you! Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a great leader, and if things were different in Adelphi, he would be the leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Aeron. He gets people to join him by burning them? Yes, Ulukai. Strange recruitment plan. How's your father fighting back? We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of Khazar and of peace. I want more than anything to revert Feyran myself for what he has done. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. We shall see soon enough. So, did I pass? Yes, Ulukai. I have no doubt that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. I hope now <laughs> that we will be able to learn more <laughs> useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the Guardians and the honor their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. May the odds be silent during your travels, Ulukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. Oh yes, I almost forgot. You will need this. Hey, that's an EVD. Where did you find this? This and many sacred objects are all around Adelpha now, Ulukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the Yards. Okay. Alright. So, the visuals aren't exactly on par with what I remembered. It, they had the, it had the reflection there. The water effect was much, much better, I remember. I remember the water effect was way better than this. Way better than this. Oh, how you dive. Ah. 
Damn. Ammo is underwater. Yeah, the water effect is way better in the in the voxel engine. I'm not sure what engine they're using for this to recreate the visuals, but the water effect is nowhere near as good. Nowhere near as good. Okay, let's find this guy and then let's head out into the world. Four. Find the chief. There he is. All right. So, how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yang's tests, Ulokai? Sure did. He says I passed with flying colors. Now I should get going. As you wish, Ulokai. But before you leave, I will remind you of our deal. You find the five mons, and we will attempt to find that what you seek. That'll have to do for now. But just know, the second I find that probe, I'm completing the mission first. Understood? It shall be as you say, Ulokai. Now the path to your first mon lies in Shamazar, the region beyond the Daoka in our camp. Once you arrive there, you will need to find Shamaz Zeb. He may be in the village to the far west of the Daoka where you appear. Sounds like a plan. In other regions as well, you will need to find the Shamas. They are the only ones who can help you find the Mons. So the only people I should find are them? Others will try to help Ulukai. A good talent to find is also a recreator. I think they have discovered secrets about your sacred objects. The recreators? Yes. They and all others will help you. I only hope you will find the help of the leaders as well. The leaders of what? Many of the regions produce resources for the soldiers of Feyran and Croats. I have been in contact with many of them, but all are unwilling to stop their work for Feyran. They like working for him? No, Ulakai. They simply fear his anger. Or they are too dumb to understand why we want to do this. Well, I'll see what I can do about that if I have the time. I know you can win them over. You have the mark of the Ulakai on you, and all will know your words carry great weight. So that's what it is. I thought maybe one of your guys mistook me for a New York subway car. Be warned, Ulakai. Many soldiers have been seen now that you are known to be alive. You will want to stay away from the Temple Fey in the center of Shamazar. There are many soldiers there. Stay to the south end of Shamazar. Thanks for the advice. Know this. All Guardians will be watching you. You will find our help when you are fulfilling the prophecy of the Urukai, and you will know our anger if you do not. All Talon will know your actions and treat you in the manner you treat them. You just remember that I need to find the others and that probe, and we'll get along famously. Then I will activate the Daoka for you. May the Yods be silent, Ulokai. Notepad accessed. Metal detected. Here we go.
Oh uh, yeah, visuals are very different from what I remember. They are very different from what I remember. It did a good job, though. The water effects could use work. The water effects could use work, but they actually did a pretty good job of creating a representation of it. They've, they've captured the spirit of the game, but the visuals are very different. doesn't have much wait stuffing power do I have a different weapon no oh, I they I can't take their guns That's pretty much the gist of it. it is a action adventure shooter. Um, that doesn't not really a role playing game. You don't really get better other gear to use. Uh, you can sell items. I think there might be some. I don't think there was any craft crafting in the game. And you perform quests. It's very old school, definitely, uh, definitely very old school. They did a rather decent job of capturing the look of the game and how it plays. Trying not to modernize it too much, although the visuals, the, the I think I'd say the weakest part, the weakest is the water the weakest is the water now that voxel water was pretty amazing some more stuff here now the voxel water was pretty amazing for its time but uh, as you can see that's this is why this game became a cult classic because of its rather unique visuals and everything. As I said, this game... Game sort of... crashed the, uh... When it initially came out. Not a lot of people liked it. I mean, the visuals were impressive. But it didn't do so well until much later. As I said, it became a cult classic. Anyway, this has been Outcast Second Contact. 
an old MS-DOS game that had a revolutionary sort of... Oh, it doesn't even have the... Um, they didn't mimic the uh, look of the sun. Because even the sky was voxel. And it had... It had almost ray, almost a ray tracing like look. I mean, it was incredible back then. Anyway, um, rambling. So this has been Outcast Second Contact. This is a very interesting bit of technology from way back when. Uh, the original game, I think, is still out there somewhere. I think you can download the original game and play it. There have been many attempts to recreate this. There have been fan attempts to update the original engine to run on modern machines. And finally, one group finally recreated the game itself. Um, some stuff gets lost in translation from new from old to new uh, i think the water effects are the weakest part um the visuals here of the landscape there are some there are are significant differences i can tell they tried to mimic the look as much as they could uh, without it looking really awful but um there were some good parts to the engine back then and some bad parts uh the good th parts were is that it was absolutely visually stunning for its time when compared to uh, i think the cutting edge when this game was out was wake two and so this in comparison was amazing Anyway, I have been Mike Zorch. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Click the bell icon also for notifications. And I will see you next time with more inspiring indies.